Hey YouTube, welcome to another celebrity birthday video. And, um, a quick update. Um, I know I haven't been active lately, but since it's the beginning of the year, pretty much, since it started last month, um, there's just been a lot going on in my life, and I was trying to get ready for the whole year. But my New Year's resolution is to make more videos, so I'm hoping this will actually happen. And I know that was my New Year's resolution last year, but I'm hoping to try again. Anyway, I'm going to be using my new phone to make videos unless there's a problem with my phone and we have to get it fixed. So by then I'd probably be using my iPad, but expect that to happen if it ever happens. But yeah, since my phone is new, I don't think there would be any problems. So anyway, here we go. Today is February 24th, 2019, which means it's the 55th birthday of Takashi Nagasako. He was an heir as maestro on TV, the Bamboo Blade as Sakaguchi, Batman the Brave and the Bold as Slug, the Bleach as Hachugan Ashuda, and the Jimban Hebo. Ikazaka, sorry, I, I did, sorry if I got that wrong. There, he was in Blood Plus as Lewis, Case Closed as San Michener, Cat Planet as Kawasaki, and the Japanese version of Codename Kids Next Door as Dr. Lincoln. But I know him for only eight roles, and it's actually pretty cool having that many roles that I know. He was in a lot of Japanese versions of the TV shows, as well as doing regular voice acting in various video games. He was in Kirby Right Back Gacha as Parm, Marilyn, Professor Curio, and Beat. As well as Sonic X as Big the Cat. In fact, that wasn't the only time he ever voiced Big. I think he also voiced Big in a Sonic Adventure. The sixth voice that, that I know Takashi Nagasako for was in the Japanese version of the Spongebob Squarepants movie as Patrick Starr. And uh, we all know that in the English version, he's voiced by Bill Fagerbaki, just like in the show. So that's the one thing I know about the movie, thanks to Lucas, because he did do a, a celebrity birthday video for Takashi Nagasako as well. But the roles I know him the most for is the voice of Donkey Kong and Cranky in the Donkey Kong Country t series. It's always been like my favorite series as a kid, ever since we had the original Donkey Kong Country for the SNES. Well, my grandma had it, but then when she gave it to us, we lost our a copy of the first game. But my brother has it on the his Wii Virtual Console. Yes, he got that before the a virtual console was shut down. And I actually played the third game and it's really fun. Really exciting. After all, it was the first and only appearance of Kitty Kong. In fact, I gotta say, Donkey Kong being, the, being voiced by Takashi Nagasako was really cool. I especially like the voices that Takashi did for this for his voice. One of my favorites has to be, Ooh, cool, whoo! And I was like, me, me, me. But the role I know Takashi Nagasako the most, even more for is like, the Legend of Zelda series, starting with the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time as Ganondorf, Talon, Ingo, Mudo, and Phantom Gal Ganon. And as well as the, <laughs> reprising his role in the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I don't have the Wind Waker, but I did hear it was a really fun game. It was a little tricky because you had to wander around the seas and try to find islands, but I definitely say it's quite a game that I would explore in. Because in a lot of video games, I love to explore. Especially when it comes to RPGs. Especially games like Paper Mario. But I don't count Super Smash Bros. Melee as the third time that Takashi Nagasako voiced Ganondorf. That was actually used with, like, uh, reused voice clips from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Neither for Ocarina of Time 3D, because that was also using recycled voice clips. 
I actually count to the uh, the newest installment of Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, had to be the third time because, uh, according to uh, Takashi himself as well as, uh, as Masahiro Sakurai, uh, they uh, we actually got to hear his voice again, so he reprised his role as Ganondorf instead of uh, having reused voice clips. So the voice you hear in the game is actually recorded as new voice clips. In fact, I gotta say, he never forgot his voice for Ganondorf. I especially like the sound he makes when he's knocked out like, Grrr! That very much sounds angry. So, Takashi Nagasako, I hope you have a great birthday, and a great day, and I hope you have a, a great time voice acting. And I really do hope to see you do more in the future, because I still like your voice for each of the characters, especially as Donkey Kong. So anyways, as your fan, I really hope to see you in the future, but being able to speak Japanese as well. But that's fine. There's actually apps where you can actually talk to the speaker and then it translates into Japanese. So, like I said, happy birthday. And since I already did, like, my own imitations of both Donkey Kong and Ganondorf, sorry, I'm ending this without any more Im imitations. But that's okay. There's actually going to be another celebrity birthday video this month on the 28th. And it's going to be really cool. And many of you who have, who have seen some roles that she's done... I bet you're gonna like it.